this old town anymore for a long, long time. Gonna hit the road and start looking for the end of that long white line. Gonna hit the road and start looking for the end of that long white line. Well, we are coming into Salt Lake City, Utah. <coughs> oh, yeah, here's some scenery shooting for y'all. Salt Lake City. I keep wanting to call it a convention. 
not. It's just, I guess it's just where a bunch of uh, lead loggers get with each other. I guess Trucker Josh is going to be there. He ain't going to ignore me very long. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I told my dispatcher I wanted to go. I'm going to go on the computer later to give me some tickets. I'm just going to drive my truck. If I go, I'm just going to drive my truck to Seattle. Parking at a truck stop somewhere. And just take me a taxi cab, you know. That's the plan anyway. Now if I can just make it work. Keep to the 
900 south, and then approach and destination on the left side in 850 feet. your destination on the left side 3150 w900 south we are here wow pretty fancy scrapyard that's what this is bunch of junk but it's gonna all be recycled right melted down into something else buying door truck scale all semi trucks CB channel 20 I don't have a CB <laughs> so they're gonna have to but we'll have to do hand hand language hand signs or whatever you We are in the dock and we just got unloaded. Hey. Yeah. We got the green light. Now what we gotta do now is uh get back on the scale, get an empty weight, hit the Logan, Utah, pick up our next boat. 86 miles. So with that being said, I got to shut my doors. Be back. Well, we're coming into Logan right now. Right now. I'm only 2.7 tenths of a mile to my pickup. Look what I've got at my pickup. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I'm seven trucks. Seven trucks before I can get in the dock. But I got two behind me. It's a food product. It's a food product. That I'm picking up. Like I said, she can only find <laughs> scrap yards or food product. I'm at a food product now. guys know more up front. Yeah, we're in the dock. We've been in the dock for a little while, but we're in the dock. You know, I'm dirty. And you know what that's from? It's nothing but a sand dune out here. One, I had to get my trailer. It was probably 200 degrees in the back of my trailer. I had to sweep that out. And every time a truck went by, dust came right inside my trailer. <laughs> I mean, I'm filthy. And I took a shower this morning, but I'm just dirty. Well, I hope I don't look too bad on the camera. We'll solve the problem though, if we ever get out of this dock, finish out our day. Anyway, now let you know what that'll be.
truck driver lives a long, hard life, I can plainly see. The hot rod kids and the women drivers are making it rough on me. While on a trip from Baltimore to the state of Tennessee, I had a big load, my rig running good, there was nothing to bother me. When about that time a woman passed trying to drive and straighten her clothes She held up traffic at every light while she stopped to powder her nose A truck driver lives a long hard life, I can plainly see Hot rod kids and women drivers are making it rough on me In the mirror and I got a surprise For they're running right behind me Were four headlights right side by side And it looked like they might hit me Just about that time I heard a horn And I headed for the field Then two hot rods went right around me Like I was standing still A truck driver lives a long hard life I can plainly see the hot rod kids and the women drivers are making it rough on me. Well, it seems to me there ought to be a law just to keep them off the road. And the radar men should worry about them and not about my overload. The hot rod kids and women drivers should have a road all their own. They'd have to watch out for one another and leave us truckers alone. A truck driver lives a long, hard life, I can plainly see. The hot rod kids and women drivers are making it rough on me. Yes, they're making it rough on me. But shoot the pinballs all the time I got the pinball blues 